this time uh, our lesson will be expressing fraction to decimal form but before going this let us have first a an overview regarding rational number rational number are numbers that can be written in the form of a all over b in the fraction form where your a um, your a and b are integers and your b must not be equal to zero if your b will become equal to zero it will become undefined subsets of rational numbers numbers are categorized wherein from a bigger scope it's a it's the rational numbers getting in um, integers examples of integers are whole numbers and their negatives so you have positive numbers together with negative numbers these are integers while getting in whole numbers what are those whole numbers whole numbers are counting numbers this includes zero so you will start from zero one two three four five so on and so forth these are counting or whole numbers the last one the inner one it's the natural numbers natural numbers are simply one two three four five so on and so forth without their no negatives including their negatives therefore they are integers so now expressing fraction to decimal form so expressing fraction to decimal form so as a review um fraction is in this kind of form your three or the upper number is your numerator and the lower number for your five year is the denominator the denominator so in changing this fraction from uh, from fraction to decimal the technique will be your numerator will become your dividend so place it inside and your five will become your um, divisor so divide so 3 divided by 5 it is very obvious that um, you cannot divide 3 so therefore the answer will be 0 so 0 multiply it with 5 so 0 multiplied with 5 any number multiplied with 0 will give you 0 so 0 times 5 will give you 0 subtract 3 minus 0 just bring down 3 so we will start placing decimal point and continue the process decimal point here and also decimal point with the dividend then after placing decimal point place zero together with your dividend so bring down zero so it becomes 30 so 30 divided by 5 so there are the answer will be 6 so in 30 divided by 5 the answer is 6 then again multiply 6 times 5 will give you 30 subtract 30 times uh, 30 minus 30 will give you 0 or x no more so therefore we will end already here so the answer is c 0 0.6 or 6 tenths number two example <clears throat> 4 over 5 or 4 fifth transpose it into divi uh, into decimal form so place 4 inside as your dividend and 5 as your divisor so 4 divided by 5 it is 0 you cannot divide 4 with 5 0 times 5 will give you 0 minus 4 minus 0 will give you 4 then place decimal point then 0 bring down 0 will give you 40 40 divided by 5 is 8 8 times 5 will give you 40 minus 40 minus 40 0 so therefore the decimal form 4 fifth is 0 0.8 it's the answer number three example <clears throat> 6 over 8 or 6 8 so therefore um, your dividend will be 6 your numerator and your divisor is 8 so 6 divided by 8 so the answer is 0 it's very obvious that 6 is smaller than 8 so you cannot divide 6 into 8 so 0 0 times 8 will give you 0 subtract 
6 minus 0, 6. Then, continue by placing um, decimal point. Continue by placing decimal point. Um, place 0. Then, bring down 0. 60. 60 divided by 8. How many 8 are there in 60? It's very obvious. It's 7. 7 times 8 will give you 56. Subtract. 60 minus 56 will give you 4. Still, there is a number. There's still number. Place 0 again. Bring down 0. Will give you 40. So, 40 divided by 8. How many 8 are there in 40? So, very obvious. The answer is 5. So, 5 times 8 will give you 40. Subtract. 40 minus 40 will give you 0. So, the decimal form of 6 all over 8 is 0 0.75. That's the answer. Number four example, 8 all over 5 or 8 fifth. So our numerator will be our dividend and your 5, will, the denominator will become your divisor. So 8 divided by 5. So how many 5 are there in 8? So there is 1. So 1 times 5 will give you 5. Subtract, 8 minus 5 will give you 3. So still, there is a number. It should be 0. So start placing decimal point. Add 0, bring down 0. So 30. 30 divided by 5. It's very obvious. The answer is 6. 6 times 5 will give you 30. Subtract. 30 minus 30 will give you 0. So the decimal form of 8 over 5 or 8 if is, is 1.6. That's the answer. Number five. Number five is five all over nine. Five all over nine. So therefore, your numerator five will become your dividend and your nine is your divisor. So five divided by nine. It's very obvious that you cannot divide 5 into 9. So the answer is 0. 0 times 9 will give you 0. 5 minus 0 will give you 5. So still number, start placing decimal point and 0. Bring down 0, 50. So 50 divided by 9. So how many 9 are there in 50? Ilang 9 meron sa 50? It's very obvious, it's 5. 5 times 9 will give you 45. Subtract. 50 minus 45 will give you 5. Still, there is a number. So, add again 0. Bring down. Until our target loop, the answer will be 0 here. So, 50 divided by 9. It's very obvious. There are 5. 9 in 50. So, 5 times 9 will give you 45. Minus 50 minus 45 will give you 5. So again, place 0. Bring down 0, 50. As you can observe, the process of, of appearing 50 and 45, and the answer is always 5. So therefore, in this situation, this if we continue the process, so 50 divided by 9 will give you again 5. So 5 times 9 will give you 45. Subtract 8 will give you 50. So the same process that we will be doing, so it means to say it is a repeating of 5. If it is repeating of 5, therefore we will place 3 dots. 1, 2, 3. It indicates that it continuously will result into 5. So the decimal form of 5 all over 9 is in this kind of point decimal five, is five, 5 so on and so forth that's the answer or um, to um, to minimize the space we can simplify it into or let's place or 0 0.5 and place it with a bar because it is continuously existing 5 as the result so therefore bar it it signifies that it has a continuous um, answer or continuous of 5. So this is the decimal form of 5 all over 9. 
None. Terminating. None. Terminating. Repeating. Decimal. It will not stop on existing of 5. And it is repeating of 5. That's the non-terminating repeating decimal. <laughs>